In this short video, we will create a multiple choice question with line survey. In multiple choice questions, the respondent can select more answer options. As an example, let's create a question uh, where we ask for the courses attended in the last uh, three months. So first we add a new question and uh, write in our question code that I write Q14 and then the text of the question for example which courses have you attended in the last three months okay here in the question type we select uh, of course we are in the multiple choice question group so i select multiple choice i can see here that we have two options the first is multiple choice and the second is multiple choice with comment uh, where the respondent can also add a comment to his or her answer so we select multiple choice okay and then mm, pay attention to what we do here we select save and only after we have selected save we have here in this warning that says you need to add sub questions or i may also select edit sub questions in the list of the buttons on the top to add the sub questions my sub questions in this case are my answer options as a general rule i suggest you not to use the code selected by default by line survey by two but to start with a number from one to n that is more much more practical when it turns to do your statistical analysis after you have downloaded your data so let's say for example that my first answer options is maths and then i select the plus to add the second and the second may be statistic okay and we add another sociology for example we may add also one or two economy economy and then finally i add also history then i have to save or better save and close after i have selected save i can preview my question here you can see that i can select more answer options but we can also change the behavior of the program and now we see how we can do if i go back to edit here for example i can in the display i can hide tip okay and also in the logic i can select for example a minimum or a maximum number of an answers so for example if i want that the respondent select at least one answer i select one as minimum but if i want to limit the number of answer to let's say to three i can set maximum answer to three and let's see uh, what change we save and close and now if i preview this question you can see can that we can select from one to three answer as we have set minimum and max and maximum number of answer respectively 
to 1 and to 3, so I can select only a maximum of 3. If you have select a fourth, I get an, a warning informing me that I need to select only 3 answers. 